Hi, that's Jevin. So this is the video you guys have been waiting for. This is the video where I compare this fake WWE belt to a real WWE replica belt. This comparison video is brought to you guys by SeatGeek. So if you guys are looking for tickets for any event in the entire world, it doesn't matter if you're a wrestling show, you're just looking for tickets for a show, use SeatGeek, use code Hodge. That's just my last name at checkout. You actually get $20 off your tickets. Now this is for first time orders only, so you guys have made Seek like made an order through SeatGeek before. Just make a new account, you can still use my code, code Hodge at checkout at SeatGeek. Actually get you $20 off any ticket for any event in the entire world. All right, let's, jump. let's go and jump into this video. So this right here is what I would call a fake replica belt and a lot of people when i did this video before i made this video before where i compared winged eagle titles a fake one off of uh, amazon and a, a real one off WWE shop and people were like what are you talking about all replicas are fake none of them are the real title so what does it matter well let me tell you what it matters here's what it matters is the WWE shop ones are made so much more premium like obviously the price alone you can tell there's a difference there or at least there should be uh the real titles the real w shop replica title uh they're 500 dollars. of course you can find them on sale you can find them secondhand cheaper but retail they're 500 dollars. these things retail they're literally only 100 bucks like i'm gonna leave a link for this one down below anyone that wants to get like a cheap Replica title, this is your best bet, it's 100 bucks. You're not finding like W Shop for under 100 bucks. Hate to break it to you, you're not. Uh, if you do, it's a plastic one, it's not a metal one. This one's metal and it's the best one you're gonna get for 100 bucks. And I think $100 is a great value for it. Uh, but basically, this one is not manufactured by WWE. It's made poor quality uh, with lesser materials, but it's not like awful looking or anything, but at the same time, it, it's just not the same. Now I gotta say, this one is actually a better made fake replica title than the Winged Eagle one was. Like this strap is like legitimately like this, very close to the same as that one uh, but just the plates are a bit different you'll see that in up close details and stuff like that but honestly for the price it's not bad but however I do consider this a fake replica title not a real shiny ultra made $500 item that you can sometimes find on sale so it's different that's my little rant about everyone being like that's, that's a, they're, just, they're both fake titles what does it matter just get the cheaper ones it's like the quality is not the same. One's fake, one's licensed by WWE, made in a factory. The other one is handmade in a different country that copyright laws don't apply to, and that's the reason they're able to make it. So nonetheless, that's enough ranting. That's enough ranting, that's enough ranting. Let's go ahead and jump into the close comparison. We're gonna move locations, and we're gonna compare this title, even though they're not exactly the same title. This one has gold in it, and that one doesn't. They're close enough to compare. So we're gonna compare these two titles, and let's move locations starting right now. All right, so here we freaking go. We got a new location here. We got two replica titles. Okay, we'll call them replicas, even though this one's the real one, if you guys don't know. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious in this example because this one has the gold on and that one doesn't, but I didn't feel like paying like whatever, however much money this one is. And I heard this one's still on pre-order anyway. So if you want this one title like now, you kind of got to get the fake one. So anyway, they're very freaking similar. So we're doing some close-up uh, video right now. So this is the close-up video. As you can see, we're showing the real one first. We're gonna pan over to the fake one. Uh, they look very, very close. And I gotta say, I, I, I'm just my mind's like blown how much the, these fake replica reproduced titles have actually gotten so good. Because I remember when they first came out with these, you could obviously spot one online when it was like listing someone trying to sell one or, or, or what have you. And it was like, what in the heck is that? that? That is not the title that's on TV. But now they're so good, you really can't tell them apart. Like, especially if this wasn't sitting next to a $500 title, you wouldn't be able to tell this wasn't the $500 title. It's just, they, of course, there's differences on the main one. Like it's a richer gold, it's a darker gold. It's more shiny, the plates are not like, uh, I don't know, the plates, honestly, are about the same thickness, but th these are just so like glossy and perfect, and these just look like kind of like a rough gold. These look like actual gold. Uh, so that's kind of the difference. Um, the, the back, of course, they both have uh, screws to remove the plates. Uh, one main selling point I do have to say is, this one, of course, has the removable center part of the side plates. Like you can get different side plates and put it in of your favorite wrestler. For this one, you can't do that, not with these side plates, but what you could do is find someone who's just selling the side plates for the replica, take them off the real one and put them on this one because they're the same freaking size and you can do that. Honestly, I'm like taken back by how good this is and some people may even like this strap more because this, this strap right here behaves more like real leather than this one does. 
Of course, neither one are real leather. That's a common misconception I hear a lot of people say about uh, replica titles. They think the replicas are real leather. They are not. This is a complete simulated leather. To get a, a title like re-leathered, you're looking like 500 bucks alone just for the leather. So that is definitely, they're not definitely not, neither one is real leather. But this one behaves more like real leather. Everyone likes to call it the, uh, the, the, the I, I don't know what we're supposed to call it, the strap test. You're supposed to go like this and see how it moves. Like, yeah, that would probably move more like the one on TV. Uh, at least this one doesn't have the Velcro because somebody's putting Velcro in titles and it looks bad. Uh, and then there's this one. Um, so yeah, maybe the fake one behaves more like the one on TV. I don't know. It feels really good. Like it feels like it definitely could be real leather, but it's not. It's like a, a vinyl composite. Uh, you can see where the individual pieces are like are, 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 are like pressed together. But yeah, I mean, obviously the five hundred dollar one is gonna be. It's gonna look better. But for the value, I cannot complain whatsoever about this. We're gonna keep doing up close details. So let's cut to a shot of the plates now. Uh, so we're looking at the plates. So we're gonna do the, the real one first. You're gonna see the smooth uh, plates, how they look, uh, how they glimmer and look perfect. And then you go over to these plates and they're just quite not there. I mean, they're very close. They kind of look pretty good, but um, they do have some imperfections and stuff like that. It's not absolutely perfect, but this is, to my knowledge, a handmade title. It's not like this one where it's made in a factory, which I don't know how you hand make this thing, uh, but they're selling it really cheap, but it is like one, one of those like countries where they have like really cheap labor and stuff like that, so they can do something like that. Uh, the, more, the more negative side I need to point out about this title is the jewels fall out like crazy. Like if you touch it and rub your hand against it, like they're literally just glued on there. So if you rub against it, the jewels are gonna fall out. Uh, I don't know if you can tell here, but I'm actually missing like one of the big ones right there. However, the manufacturer knows about this problem and they solved this problem by sending you this. This is a bag of jewels. It has every jewel that you could possibly lose off this title that you can glue back on. Now WWE is supposed to do this. They used to do this, but my $500 title did not come with replacement jewels. You could order some, however, for this title, uh, but it did not come with them. But the fake one does come with replacement jewels because they know they fall out. They know it's a problem. If it falls out and you don't notice it and you don't pick it up and glue it back in, there is replacement jewels here for you to actually match it up. I, mean, I don't really have too much to say. I remember the gold tip on the on the Winged Eagle fake title was not this good. It looked bad. It looked like gold foil. It was like bubbling up. It looked awful. This gold tip looks great. We'll compare the gold tips real quick. Here's the gold tips compared on both titles. Actually, not too bad. The only difference I see, I mean, they look very, very close. Like, like they look almost identical. The only difference is I see is the back, uh, the real one has it on the back and the other one does not just have screw holes uh, so yeah guys honestly like i thought the winged eagle title was pretty good that i ordered like last year i thought it was pretty good but this one they've actually stepped up their game a lot and a lot of problems that they had with the other fake replica they've actually fixed and this is like a hundred dollar title like i said i'll leave a link down below if you guys do want to pick up one um obviously the w shop one just go to w shop and you'll find it but this one it's a little bit harder to find. I'll leave a link. It's on Amazon. It's actually on Amazon. Like you can get Prime shipping and everything on it. So uh, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check that out. Affiliate link. And um, but yeah, I mean, I'm really taken back. I really had so many different points to talk about on the on the Winged Eagle. How the differences were. But honestly, I'm, I'm looking at these things so closely. I'm trying to find the differences, and I really don't see the differences. Like they are so close. Like, this one's coloring is a bit darker than this one but that's that's kind of it like it's just a different shade of gold like there's not really much of a difference like this one looks more glossy like it has like a glass like look and this one looks more like rough metal but the leather stamping is literally identical in both titles the same designs all the way through so really i don't really see like a big huge difference honestly i, 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 I want to justify so bad why i spent 500 dollars on this one obviously these weren't around then when i bought this one but Guys, this one is just like really good quality. I and mean, this one obviously looks like a million bucks. This one may look like half a million bucks, but honestly on camera, they look so close. Uh, in photos, they look so close. When I put them on the table and I, I walk a few steps away, they look identical. So it's really hard to kind of knock this thing anymore. I wanted to hate it so bad. I really want to hate this title so bad. Comparison, I can't, I can't really find a problem here. I want a problem to find, but Ah, it's pretty dang good for a hundred bucks. I do have to say a hundred dollars doesn't buy you a lot anymore Especially with, with it being almost 2024 like in inflation Pricing on things is crazy a hundred dollars does not go far But now I can buy you a replica almost the same as the new shop one, which is just freaking insane uh, But if I had to choose between the two, I'm still gonna keep the real WWE shop one and that one would go bye-bye, but uh, I, It's just so good if I didn't have this one would I go ahead and splurge for the 500? I don't think I would but there you guys have it that's my thoughts on this thing. It's actually pretty solid and I can't find problems with the gold on it. I can't find problems with the plates 
or the strap or anything like I could on the on the last fake one I ordered. I can't find a problem, and I hate that. So there you guys have there's the comparison of the fake title or replica, this replica versus that replica, but this one's what I call a fake WWE product. Like this is literally a bootleg WWE title. It's a fake WWE product. Like Everyone gets so frustrated when I say fake replica because they're like, oh, replicas are fake. Yeah, haha, ha. I know all replicas are fake, but I'm saying this one is handmade in a country where copyright laws don't apply so they can make this. That's what I'm trying to say to you guys. It's a handmade title, but nonetheless, it's a beautiful title. Uh, it's handmade, maybe handmade, but it's really, really done really well and it looks really good. And honestly, you really can't tell the difference that much, especially on camera or on display or just in photos and stuff like that. So if you guys want a uh, one of these for yourself, I'm actually going to leave a link down below to Amazon and affiliate link so you guys can actually get one of these for yourself. Like It is a good looking title for $100. Sometimes they're under $100, the, the like, price fluctuates but I'll leave a link for that down below as well as I'll put that link in the comment section down below if you guys want to get one of these for yourself uh, but nonetheless ladies and gentlemen thank you guys for watching this video I am your one and only undisputed king of Lockstar Brandon Hodge and I will see you guys in the next video